Welcome to my channel being you now. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Today I'm doing your daily reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So if you have Aries placements, this reading is for you. If this reading doesn't resonate, head over to the video step. You'll find yourself somewhere in there. This is a collective read, not a one-to-one -one read. Personal readings, it's the first link in the description box. And thank you to everyone that has been booking healing sessions. I'm really, really enjoying doing healing, chakra balancing, um, working more one-on-one, -on -one, and that is giving me a lot of joy. So thank you for everyone that is reaching out. Thank you for everyone that has been emailing me, asking me questions. I posted a few things um, in the Communities tab. If you don't know where the Communities tab is, it is on my channel. It is one of the options which says Community. So there's a tab for video. There's a tab for Community. There's a tab for Shorts. So go to the Community tab. I always post a lot of valuable information in there. And that is for the collective good because sometimes people don't always email me and they have these questions. So I like to post them there for the highest and greatest good of all. So um, subscribe if you haven't. That way you know when new updates, information, offers, sales, um, rituals and all the things are available. Everything always gets posted in the community tab. Uh, all right, let's get into it. So today I want, I'm led to... See, what's your current energy? All these ones to come out. That's a lot, but we'll just roll with it. I'll finish off with an Archangel Michael message, so stay till the end. So we have Page of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands. So I see that there is a lot of waiting happening here, Aries. Um, so a lot of you are waiting for some form of news or information. These cards are giving me the energy and vibration of um, looking out there, looking for options, assessing options or wanting options in something. For others of you, you're waiting to have fun. So maybe you're waiting to book a holiday. Maybe you're waiting to... Um, you know, grow your savings at a certain level before you travel, because this is the card also of travel and planning. And with the Knight of Pentacles, to me, this is saying that it's slow moving or you are gathering your resources. Or maybe for some of you, if, if it's if it's not a money thing, it could also be the fact that maybe you're waiting for other people to give you when they can go on, go on vacation. You're doing a group collective thing where you're waiting for the date um, or finalization of the dates of when everyone is available so that you can book this trip. Um, the page of ones, this is to do with having fun. This is to do with creativity. So this is what I mean. This is almost giving me this um, energy of delayed gratification. You're almost delaying your time frame of having fun. You're putting it on hold. You, it's determined. It's based on too many factors. Could be money. Could be dates. Could be um, other people that you're waiting on. But there is this whole energy of waiting and planning. So during this time, I see you planning. So maybe you're looking at, you know, if I just use the analogy of um, holiday or vacation, Maybe you're looking at uh, different options for accommodation that can accommodate your party. Or maybe you're looking at um, different um, stops that you can make along the way on your trip. I like to use a lot of analogies and I get a lot of feedback that that helps give people clarity and uh, apply to their situation. One of the reasons why I like using analogies is because these are collective readings. So you all might be navigating through different things and then you can just... Um, use the example to your specific situation and what you're going through. But I really like this energy because this to me is, it's almost giving me this vibe of Aries slowing down. Aries putting on the brakes and really um, putting energy and effort into planning things that are coming. One thing I will say, the page of wands and two of wands, again, it's Aries energy. So you are showing up strongly in your own reading, which is wonderful. Knight of Cups, Four of Cups, King of Wands. There you are, showing up, showing up loud, proud and clear. To me, some of you, this is literally a love offer that's coming towards you with the Knight of Cups and um, the King of Wands. This is coming, you can see the Knight is coming towards the King. So I really like this energy. And um, so some of you might be getting an offer of love, romance that's coming up in the next little while. Mercury is going direct very soon. So um, this can also, you know, this whole thing is saying that there's been a bit of a pause slowing down, but it's going to pick up momentum because Mercury has been in retrograde. So maybe there has been delayed communication or you're waiting on other people. So, you know, the Mercury retrograde can bring those things. But 
this you know it it's going mercury is going direct in a few days we will be in the shadow period so with the king of wands showing up and the knight of cups to me things will start to gain momentum for others of you if you are feeling that nothing is moving along i think spirit really wants you to know right now is that be the king of wands the king of wands is the one that goes for the things that he desires he doesn't wait around for people so if they if you have a certain vision if there are things that you want go for it stop waiting Stop waiting around for others to make that because that's making you feel stuck and bored. That's the energy right there. You are stuck and bored. But the universe wants to, universe is constantly bringing you opportunities. But if you, if you only focus off on what is available in front of you and not take any action, because at the end of the day, you can watch as many tarot readings as you want. All of this comes down to whether you're going to do something with this information or not. And that's what this is saying. Offers are available. They're coming to you from multiple directions. For me, this is more than one offer for some of you. The night is coming and then the universe is also handing you off offers. For others of you, this could also be to do with your business. It's about being that entrepreneur, knowing that you're that boss, that boss woman, boss man. Taking charge, taking charge of your life because ultimately it's your life. All right, so let's see. What is coming towards you? There are a few of them and they are very stuck. So I'm really picking up the cards. I'm, I'm also highly intuitive. So I use a number of different ways to get my messages. With the cards, cards being this stuck, I feel like some of you areas are feeling very, very stuck. Because with the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles doesn't really move. So I feel like energetically a lot of you are feeling like, and that's probably causing a lot of this procrastination, boredom, stuck feeling as well. That whatever's available is just not enticing enough. Yep. Yep. What's coming towards you, you are focusing on what you have lost, not what you are basically, the, this is the energy. It's the same three cups that we've got here. So I feel like a lot of you are focusing on what is not available or what hasn't gone the way you wanted it to go, as opposed to focusing on the opportunities. I mean, all he has to do is turn around and see the two upright cups, but he's giving all his time, energy and attention to this. So he's completely missing and they're right there, right behind him. It's not even like he has to make a big hike or a track to get to those two cups. And this is what Spirit is giving you. Spirit is giving you options and opportunities. And you've got the two cups, one from the Knight of Cups and the other one coming from the universe right here. It's, it's exactly that being confirmed with this Five of Cups. For some of you, I would definitely recommend the cord cutting ritual. If you are feeling lost, despair different, if you are feeling grief from the loss of a loved one, I'm sending, sending you a huge hug. That is very, that's a very personal journey you can be on. But say if you are mourning, particularly with the Knight of Cups, past lovers, relationships, I mean, Mercury Retrograde can bring those people up again. Um, the cord cutting ritual is a total game changer. I mean, it really blew my mind. And I have been working with more and more rituals to help and empower more people. And sometimes that's what we need to do. We need to do, you know, there are these attachments knowingly or unknowingly we make to people, places and things. And they cause us to be stuck. They cause us to be sad, to be depressed. I'm picking up this energy of depression for somebody. So, you know, if you want to cut the thing or the person or whatever from your life from good with love, love and light, these rituals are very, very powerful. And as long as you believe, you receive. So, you know, if you are wholeheartedly going into these things, that's what I say to all my clients, whether they come for healing, cord cutting, um, chakra balancing for some of you this is this is this is lack of self-confidence this is lack of self-confidence this is causing a lot of anxiety a lot of things mental the mental energy so you chakra balancing your crown chakra and your solar plexus they are in in imbalance and that that is what needs to be activated so all the links are in the description box you can go check them out yeah you you're getting a lot of offers page of cups another offer so spirit is really bringing you, like, look at, you've got a lot of water energy surrounding you, Aries. I feel like this could be also a very emotional time for a lot of you. I'm sending you a huge hug if you are feeling emotionally overwhelmed. I'm just getting that sense that someone here is feeling really overwhelmed. So um, I'm sending you a lot of love. Always know that love and support is available to you. You need to be open to receiving. That's your free will. Yep. This is all illusions. It's all in the mind. So what spirit really is saying in this reading to me, to to me for you in terms of the message 
there's a lot of mental stories that you are it's almost like you keep saying them keep regurgitating them and they become factual and then you keep looking for evidence and then they become true because each time you find any little bit of evidence you say oh see this is exactly why i think and you go back down the downward spiral bringing you back to this five of cups which is this sadness loss energy very heavy weight down some of you could be also feeling like you know you're you might be getting a bit of shoulder neck pain um, or stiffness around that area i just feel like you're carrying a lot of burdens and some of these burdens are not even yours all right so let's move to your advice this is a very different message for you aries i don't normally get messages like this but i feel like someone needs to hear this mercury retrograde can do this it can bring about these sorts of messages and sometimes we just need to face the truth. Sometimes we just need to get a shift in perspective. And that happens. You know, tarot readings bring about those clarity because you are basically someone that you've never met is bringing, doing a reading. And, you know, you're like, how do you know? And that's the power of the tool tarot, which is why I love it so much. All right. So let's see what's your advice. I just feel like saying get help, Aries, get help. You're worthy. I feel like a lot of the times Aries doesn't think that they're worthy. And that's why they um, deny themselves from help and support. Um, and Spirit really wants you to know that you are deeply supported. You are resourceful. Again, very stuck energy. All these cards are... I use this deck a lot. So for these cards to be this stuck, it just doesn't make sense to me. Yep. You are resourceful. Nine of Pentacles. This is giving me... You are resourceful and you are abundant. You are so, so abundant. Resources and everything is available to you. Luxury is available to you. Independence, financial independence is available to you. So why are you refusing help to yourself when you're already so abundant? You know, because the nine of pentacles is not the energy of I'm not worthy or um, I'm not open to receive. But here you are blocking that. Universe is also, you know, there's a lot of help help around you, but you are yourself up. This is this closed body language. So open yourself up to receiving Aries. That's your that's the single biggest piece of your advice, just looking at the nine of pentacles. Yep, work with the moon energy. This moon energy, moon has been coming up a lot. Cancer, I'm picking up really strong cancer energy. I mean, you've got a lot of water energy. So cancer spice spices scorpio. So I'm, a lot of you might have those placements or dealing with people. That have those placements with these two cards right here this is saying to me work with moon energy work you know those manifestation rituals those um yeah th those circles affirmations work 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 with that because that's how why am i saying that that's how you're going to balance moon is about balancing moon energy brings about balance brings about harmony Somebody here will benefit a lot. We're getting the full moon is happening tomorrow, 20th. So the energies are always um, 20, you know, 48 hours other side. So book a healing session during full moon. That's something else that's coming up right here. Book an energy healing session. Alpha energy healing chakra balancing cord cutting. All the information is in the description box. Go check it out. Yep. Work with other people. Get help. Three of pentacles. I can't make this up. These are the cards that are coming in your advice. These are your, this is in your advice position areas. The more you work with others, the more you allow help and receive help. That's how you're going to achieve your goals. Get closer to manifesting your dream life. Because nine of pentacles, this is also about your wishes, dreams coming true. And you don't have to do it alone. These two cards, they're both pentacles. You don't have to do it alone. Okay, Aries? Be open to receive. Yep. And your hard work will be rewarded. The single biggest thing that I always say to people, the best advice, best investment you'll ever make is in, your, in yourself. And when you invest in yourself, that's you will get returns beyond your wildest dreams in ways that you cannot even fathom. Do you know how many times I work with work, healing clients and at the start they have certain desires and just within a space of even like two, three months and sometimes even less. They're like, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. Oh my God, I can't believe this opened up. Of course it opened up because you change your energy and vibration and become so open that you actually can see these opportunities. When you go through, when, you know, when we are so fixated on this, we miss all of that. 
But that's what healing helps you to do. It opens up new ways of thinking, pathways, connections. And before you know it, it's like magic. And this Eight of Pentacles is saying your hard work will be rewarded, Aries. So if you're wondering that, oh, you know, will if your question was, will getting a healing session help me? The answer is yes. Eight of Pentacles, you will get the rewards. You will reap the rewards of your hard work. That's what it is. If your question was, will the cord cutting ritual let me basically free me from that connection or that thing? The answer is yes, your hard work will pay off. So that's what this is. You know, this is about you working on yourself. This is about your journey. This whole reading is about you. People, places, situations come and go. They can create illusions and doubt, but then it's up to you to see what you want and then go for it. Okay, I'm going to get you a message from Archangel Michael, as I said at the start, before we close out. Message for Aries. I can't make it up. Read that. Put, put your creative energy into action. So this card is saying, Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark your creativity, help you communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful. Aries, you are beautiful. And know that you are surrounded by Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel. Claim these in comments. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Aries, for being here. For personal readings, first link in the description box. For energy healing, chakra balancing, and cord cutting rituals, all the information is in the description box. Aries, remember the power that is you by being you now. I will see you next time.